What's up everybody? Welcome back. So I'm gonna give you an update about the boat. The battery was completely dead, I was right. And uh, the, the, the built-in charger uh, could not read the battery because it was under one volt. So what I had to do is I had to force charge it, which means um, the charger has a, very, a lot of uh, safety features in it. Which when you force when you force it, it it kills every single safety feature on it. It gets straight raw power for five minutes, which gives it 25 volts. So the, the, so the charger could actually recognize that um, the battery is plugged into it. So so it took charge, and um, it's charging as we speak right now. I tried um, lifting the engine up with a button. It works. There's power to the boat. So that's good. And um, the only reason why I think my battery died was because I did not turn the boat on for, no, uh, since I got it. Because I didn't know if I had literally no time to go out fishing. Uh, if I, if I, at the time I did go fishing, it was with my friend that came by. And um, we were, I was on the phone with him right now. I uh, just hung up, actually. And I uh, told him that the water is uh, charging. Uh, the battery is good. It's not messed up because uh, once you force charge the battery, you know, it's like five, ten minutes, then it goes back to a regular mode. You know, the safety fun functions kick in again. And uh, the battery was bad. Um, after five minutes of forcing the battery, it would have gone back to um, steady mode. Basically, um, standby mode, there we go. On standby mode, which uh, means you can, you know, the charger does not read the battery still. Even though they force uh, charge and it's also a repair mod, so it's a mod to repair the, uh, the battery, that's for the old batteries. And um, and that's not 100% true also, I mean, it works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on your battery. So I decided to give you um, an update uh, with the situation with the boat. Everything is good. So tomorrow, I'm going to finally start off for the first time. I got the water, I got everything ready, so ready installed on the motor. All I gotta do is uh, turn the water on, go in the boat, t turn the key, and start it. So, uh, we'll got, so basically, I have to let it for 10 minutes, run for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, uh, push, uh, push the throttle forward just a little bit, just enough to get the prop spinning for another 10, 15 minutes. Because I have to let the um, motor run for the first time. And as far as next week, for next week, uh, my friends uh, keeping the track of the weather for the water, and so am I. And if it doesn't rain, as I said uh, on a prayers vlog, and I'm not sure if I said it or not, I'm, that's what I'm saying right now. If it rains, even though I got the canopy uh, for the boat to give us a shade and not to get wet, we're still not going to go uh, in the water. So just keep an eye out just in case that happens. And my, I told my friend, um, I have a YouTube channel. If he minds uh, being on camera, he said, no, I don't mind at all. So, which is good. So he's actually pretty excited. And uh, so am I. So um, I can't wait to do the maiden voyage with you guys. So I could uh, see the boat in action. We're gonna be on the water for eight hours. So that means um, we have to go to uh, two and a half um, fills. Um, just to get it uh, broken in, which will be a lot of fun. So tomorrow I have to go register my boarding trailer at the DMV. And then I have to go get my fishing permits once again, at the ones I had before, because uh, we are going to go fishing also. This will be a lot of fun. Uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you all tomorrow, the first start of the engine. Later.